YouTube, Silver Hair Stacker here. Well, I'm out in the garden, out in the backyard. The birds are singing. We got some mockingbirds. They think it's mating season. They're already pestering each other. Anyway, if you watch my uh, video on turkey shit, <laughs> this is what I have left over that I didn't get spread on the garden. Anyway, this is the garden. Just got my uh, tomatoes planted. This row here, all the way down. I planted about 10 days ago, and they look like they're doing fine. This row here, I just planted them today and they don't look all that fine but they haven't had time to get used to the outdoors yet got one row of candy onions and another row of texas sweet onions and they're doing fine and i looked on the weather today and the uh, snow was headed to the east coast. We don't have any snow here. It's about 65 degrees and the sun's shining. Well, I planted potatoes about three or four weeks ago. And they're sticking their heads up out the ground. Won't be long before I have to put some more dirt on them. Because the more dirt you put up around your potatoes, the more potatoes you'll get. So this row of potatoes, they're coming up. Look like they're doing fine. So got a row of them and on this row I've got let's see what I plant here turnips and beets I think these are beets coming up And I think this is, these are turnips. I don't know if you can see that. Turnips. And down here, these are radishes. They're just getting started. Down here, I planted some. Uh, squash but I planted too early it froze out so I've only got like one left <laughs> I did the same thing with beans I planted some beans and they got a little frost on them they look sad I'm gonna have to replant green beans so anyway over here, I'm going to have some more green beans. Just got to get them planted. And then the rest of the garden, on the mound here, I'm going to have carrots. Out in the center here, I'm going to have some okra. It's way too early for okra. Okra is an African plant. And it takes a while for that to get going. Anyway, over here, the grapevines are putting out leaves. So I got a couple of grapevines going. Over here, got a few strawberries. They're already putting on flowers. Look at that. There's a strawberry flower. 
another pot with strawberry. And start to get some flowers. And this pot, a couple more flowers. Over against the fence, I'm going to put in peppers. I'm going to put in jalapeno and bell and probably some banana peppers. Anyway, that's it for the garden. Thanks for watching. Yeah, taking a break from the gardening. I came inside and had to show some pickups. So, I got this from the local coin shop. It's the Ellis Island Commemorative. And it's a pretty neat coin. I like this one. It was just a couple of bucks above spot, so I picked it up. You can actually either display it in a box or over here on the side. Go to COA. And also picked up a bicentennial of the American Revolution. So from 1973, this coin includes Samuel Adams and Patrick Henry. And delivering the messages. The British are coming. <laughs> what do you think about that, Cyber? <laughs> anyway. Uh Picked up just a little bit of, had a little bit of pocket, pocket money left. So I got five Georges in silver. And I also got five Barber Dimes. I didn't have any Barber Dimes yet, so this is new to my little collection. Got five of those. Little bitty guys. I like how on the back of them they say one dime. They don't say ten cents. They say one dime. <laughs> then I picked up a two ounce round. This is put up by the Franklin Mint. It was a bird series from the 1970s and this is the cardinal coin this is number 27 in the series I think there was about 30 or 40 birds in the series and the coin was made in 1972 so that coin was made when I was back in high school so tells you how old I am that's why they call me the silver hair stacker. <laughs> anyway, and then I picked up a few of these from some person on eBay. You always take a chance on eBay. You never know whether you're going to get a good deal or get ripped off. But I did the magnet and I did the weight and I did everything else. So I'm pretty sure they're one ounce plata pura, which means one ounce pure silver and there's the eagle with the snake in its beak very common symbol in Mexico that is a 1985 and this one is also a 1985 and the last coin I have to show today is a piece of silver from Mexico as well. This is Diez Pesos, which translates into 10 pesos. And it's 
0.990 or 0.900 silver, so it's 90 percent. This coin was minted in 1956. Yeah, and it's 28.888 grams. I guess that's what that stands for. So it's not quite an ounce. Whoa, not quite an ounce. Anyway. Before I kill myself with my camera, I'll let y'all go. I wanted to say thanks for joining me in the garden. And check out my new pickups. And good luck and God bless. This is Silver Hair Stacker. We're gone.